you're watching Psycho Cruises all on one sport bike channel. Subscribe today. I want to tell you I've, I've had some good seat time on this bike and of, of course as you guys know I, I rode the uh, 2008 Honda CBR600RR for almost two years and September 6th to be exact would be two years. Uh, so I can give you you know my experience on both of these bikes and help explain the differences between the two at least some of the differences you know I'm not a, a technical expert here I'm just giving you just the basics that you probably want to know about uh, first off the size of this liter bike compared to the 600 double R it's the same almost the same size bike guys I measured it uh, the wheelbase on this 2012 Fireblade is 55.5 inches uh, compared to the uh, the CBR 600 RR, which is 53.9 inches. So we're talking about a difference of 1.6 inches. Uh, so, and measuring the fairings on the bike, the length of the fairings on both of the bike, both of them are about 67 inches. And uh, and the width of the tank, which you would, I thought the tank was actually wider on this Fireblade than the 600 RR, but it's the same. It's about 16 inches across. And I'll tell you, this liter bike actually feels a little smaller than my 600 RR. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit more connected to the road with this bike. Like there's... I don't know, it feels about the same to be honest with you, but this feels just a little bit better. And I'll tell you on the twisties, I've got it, I got a chance to take this on the twisties and I'll tell you, this bike, I feel more confident hitting the twisties on this bike than I did, than I do on the 600 RR. And I didn't think that was possible, man, because you know, the 600 RR feels like a butter knife in the twisties, but this feels a lot better even. You know, it must be the upgraded suspension on this bike and how compact this bike feels. And this bike feels just as light as the 600, even though there's only a difference of 31 pounds. You know, this uh, Fireblade is, what, 441 pounds, non-ABS. This isn't the ABS version. And the 600RR is about 410 pounds. So we're only talking about a 31 pound difference, guys. And you can't even feel that extra 31 pounds on this bike. Uh, the trunk space on this bike. The trunk space is, is so much, it's deeper and longer. You can, it's actually, from what I heard, it's actually was made so that you can put a U-lock in the trunk on this fire blade. And uh, it's, it's, that's really nice. I didn't expect it because looking at the, you know, side of the bike, it, it, it looks like you probably, you have no space in the trunk, but you got, for a sport bike, you know, you got a lot of space in that trunk. At least these newer Super Sports. My CBR 600 RR, you can't fit shit. I could hardly fit that Motorola Razor in there. That old school flip phone I have sitting in the trunk. As far as the power delivery on this bike, as I told you guys in the previous video, is that the fueling on this bike is very, very smooth. The throttle response is very smooth. So this bike is very easy to ride. But I'll tell you, this bike actually keeps me from speeding like I want to do on the 600 RR. Like on the 600 RR, it's like I want to feel that turbo spool effect. It's like an addiction for me, man. It's like it releases the adrenaline in my blood. It just crank it, and then it just, bah, it just puts a hit of power on you. bike has power throughout the RPM range so everything is smooth so it's not like when I crank this bike I mean it goes quick it's almost like an electric motor but it's not that that hit of power feel that you get on a 600 RR I mean this bike is faster obviously than the 600 RR uh, but as far as other differences on this bike uh, the suspension as you guys know in the 2012 uh, and newer CBR 1000 RRs was upgraded 
Uh, this bike has the, the show a big piston fork on it, uh, fully adjustable, and it has the, I think, Pro Link uh, rear suspension that's fully adjustable. As it's very easy to uh, adjust the suspension on this bike, uh, it's a little bit more difficult on the 600RR. Uh, at least for the rear, I believe. I, I didn't get the uh, my suspension adjusted on the 600RR, but on this bike, I do plan on, on getting it uh, custom set up for me. I just have to find a place that does it. But, yeah, that's great. The suspension feels fantastic on this bike. You know, I take it in, I took it down to the ghetto streets of Cleveland. You know, as you guys see in my videos, Cleveland streets are absolutely horrific. And actually, on borderline dangerous with the potholes and just, just terrible street conditions. And uh, this bike, man, it soaks up the bump, bumps like a champ, just like my 600RR. You know, as I told you guys, you know, they made these, Honda made these CBRs, you know, more so for the streets compared to the other super sports that are on the market. Uh, as far as uh, some other differences between the two bikes, uh, as you guys know, on my 600RR, I put the aftermarket turn signal mirrors, are, and uh, this bike has them, you know, come stock with them. And I'll tell you, the visibility on these stock mirrors with the turn signals are better than on the, those aftermarket ones I have on my 600RR. Uh, it has a bigger lamp, so you can see the turn signal a lot better than the 600RR. And these mirrors are really good. You can actually see behind you, you know, like I can with those aftermarket mirrors on my 600RR. So, uh, that's another positive benefit. As you guys know, also, this bike does have the Honda electronic steering damper just like my 600RR so the bike feels good at all speeds it feels stable at all speeds just like the 600RR and uh, okay another difference between the two bikes uh, gas tank this gas tank holds 4.7 gallons of gas the CBR 600RR holds 4.8 gallons of gas and uh, as far as the fuel efficiency so far on this bike I'm getting 39 uh, about 39.1 miles per gallon and the uh, 600 double R I average roughly about in the summertime I average roughly about 45 miles per gallon 45 46 in the summertime as far as shifting on this bike shifting feels so much smoother on this bike compared to the 600 double R this has a slipper clutch Clutch pull is easy. Shifting is easy up and down. Uh, much, much better than the 600RR. Although the 600RR is not bad, but this is just better. It's smoother. Okay, another difference here. Uh, this has the gear indicator, as I told you guys in the last video. Uh, the 600RR doesn't, which is not a big deal to me. You know, I started as a teenager on a bike that didn't have a fuel uh, gauge at all. So I, I tend to ride by feel. Uh, this bike, now I mentioned the 600RR has the fuel gauge. I made a big deal about that saying that, you know, that none of the leader bikes have the fuel gauge on it. But I'll tell you, this bike has something actually better than a fuel gauge. And I didn't realize that until I actually owned this bike. But it has a fuel consumption computer that actually tells you how much fuel you have left. So it's actually even better than the, uh, the fuel gauge on the 600RR, which just has the blocks. It gives you a rough estimate of how much gas you have. This tells you almost exactly how much gas you have left on the bike. So, again, that's a, that's a cool benefit to this bike. But this bike is awesome so far, man. I'm really liking it. You know, for those of you guys, you know, like I said, when I first rode this bike, the initial impression was that it was kind of boring at first, but now, I really have come to really appreciate this bike and like it with all these extra features it has and, and the feel and the twisties, man. Shit. I can't wait to hit, take this bike to the track. It's just, it's really cool. It's, it's a great bike, man. And, and the looks of the bike are actually, I'm starting to appreciate the looks of the bike more. I think it's a good looking bike. As where when I first saw this bike, I thought the 600RR looked better, but now I think this bike looks hot. <laughs> but
But like I said, I don't really give a shit about the looks. Looks like we can't go down there. I don't really, uh, the looks are not that much of a concern for me because once you hop on the bike, it doesn't matter, man. It's just about the riding experience. And uh, the riding experience on this bike is, is fantastic. It's, uh, it's great. It, this is an awesome street bike. It's got a ton of mid-range power, uh, low-end power. And, uh, but the 600 RR, like I told you guys, it had plenty of low-end and mid-range on that bike. Way more than enough for the streets. So, you know, again, you know, I agree with my assessment that I said before about this bike. A 600 is all you need. But if you're looking for a new bike and you don't want to get a 600 that's slower than the 2008 CBI 600 double R, then get a 2012 and newer CBI 1000 double R. But uh, as I told you guys, this bike actually riding the temperature is roughly about the same as the 600 RR. It stays in the, the 170s. Uh, but when I'm at a stop, it you almost always goes to 220 uh, degrees. But there, I don't hear a fan come on at all. If there is a fan, it sure is quiet. So, you know, as opposed to I hear some of the guys out there that have the ZX-10R, they say when the fan comes on, it's kind of irritating. But I don't hear a fan come on the, on this bike. But, uh... So the bike runs, you know, it, I don't feel any heat on my legs or the seat or anything on this bike. Uh, just like the 600 RR, so it's a pleasant riding experience. Uh, what else about this bike? The brakes, the brakes, they bite good. So, you know, here's the front brake. They bite really good, just like my 600 RR. Uh, it's you know, some of you guys may ask, why didn't I get the ABS brakes on this bike? First off, it adds more weight to the bike, and it puts an unsightly, uh, uh, the bottom of it comes out of the back of the, the bike. Uh, I guess what holds the, uh, the ABS computer or whatever it holds. But, uh, you know, with these, the, the brakes on these bikes are, are so good, you know, that you really don't need, as long as you have the braking skills, you really don't need ABS unless you ride in the rain a lot. But if you ride, I don't even, I don't like riding in the rain myself. You know, on occasion I will ride in the rain, but I try to avoid it like the plate. But you, uh, on this bike, the, the brakes are so strong, you know, as long as you're doing 70% front, 30% rear, you'll be fine. I mean, this, you know, riders have been riding without ABS for decades. And, uh, you know, people have, they ride just fine without ABS. So you don't really need ABS. Uh, what else? Insurance. Insurance, it's a difference of 362 for the 600 RR versus uh, 474 for the CBR 1000RR. Uh, which I know you guys say that's really cheap because, you know, I'm over age 25. If you, you're over age 25, your rates are going to be held a lot cheaper. For those of you under 25, I feel sorry for you guys. You guys are paying out the ass. <laughs> a lot of you guys don't carry comprehensive, which can be a stupid idea. Because if something happens to your bike, especially if you buy a new bike, man, you're screwed. As far as comfort on this bike, this bike feels just as comfortable as my 600 RR. Uh, the seat feels just the same. Uh, this has the raised uh, clip-ons, as you can see here. Just like my 600 RR, so you're not going to have the pain on your hands and wrists like you will on some of the other super sports that have lower clip-ons. Uh, but from what I hear in 2014 on the Honda CBR 1000RR, they did make the ergonomics uh, more aggressive for track. So if you want the, the more comfortable ergonomics, you probably want to stick with the 2012 or 2013 CBR 1000 double R and another benefit to going with the Fireblade and the 600 double R is that it has uh, a tank cover so if you ever drop your bike or get in an accident or whatnot you don't have to worry about your tank getting all messed up you can just easily replace the tank cover and your bike will look new again 
as where the uh, the Kawasaki ZX 10R I think has a painted tank, and uh, I think most of the other Super Sports have painted tanks. So that's what I always appreciated with the CVRs here is that everything, at least the newer ones, is that all the plastics are replaceable, and you don't have to you don't have to paint the tank if you want to change colors either. So that's something to consider for those of you guys that are looking for you know a Super Sport. So, thumbs up, guys, with this CBR 1000 Dibble R. But the 600 R is still a fantastic bike. I still say it's all you need for the streets. Uh, but if you can get a really sick deal on a fire blade, like I did on this bike, hey, I recommend getting this bike as well. So, but that's all I have for you guys. So, until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! And it's time for Cycle Cruiser's recommended videos. Links are in the info section of this video. You riders out there tired of wearing that heavy ass, hot ass, expensive leather motorcycle jackets in the summertime? Well, I got a better solution for you guys. Some urban streetwear that's lightweight, flows a ton of air, has even more protection than most of the motorcycle jackets out there. Full spine protection, full chest protection, full arm protection. You can even mount GoPro Heroes on it. Check out my review on the CE Armor Jacket. Yeah. Want to know what my top five super sport motorcycles are for the streets? Well, hey, you might want to check this video out. Which 600 bikes should you get? There's so many to choose from. Check out my pros and cons of all the 600s that are available right now and why I chose the CBR 600 Dibble R. Oh. Those of you looking for a great first bike to start on, check out my review on the 2011 Honda CBR 250R. Before you do a video request, you might want to check out my website at cyclecruiser.com and check out my video library and playlists. You may find the video that you're looking for. Just click on the My Videos tab. If you get a chance, like me at facebook.com forward slash cyclecruiser1 for new updates and to browse my video library. Hey, I'm on Instagram now. So if you get a chance, follow me at instagram.com forward slash cyclecruiser. Yeah. Get your Cycle Cruiser sport bike themed apparel at CycleCruiser.com. CycleCruiser.com. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Cycle Cruiser Motor Vlog.